Hey everybody, it's Jason. I'm here with my mid-June wax empties. So I started, I had a couple of candles that I finished off. I finished Mojito from Candles by Victoria, and this is one of her black label candles. And Mojito to me smells kind of like a lemon-lime hard candy. So it's really nice. Um, these, as I've had them, they've gotten ridiculously strong, so... Like, I really like the Black Label line a lot. Um, the candles are a little bit wide for the single wick, so it does take a long time for them to get the full melt pool, but they are super duper strong, especially after having them. I've had this one for, I got it back in April um, of 2012, so super duper strong. And then I finished an 8 ounce in Bermuda Triangle, also from Candles by Victoria. And this is a great scent like this is one of my favorite tropical scents it doesn't have coconut or pineapple in it but something about it like reminds me of like the tropics it's got a lot of melons and citrus and like a little bit of apple but it is absolutely fantastic and i loved the color of this candle it's like a really dark blue super pretty so i will definitely be repurchasing that okay moving on to just tarts the first one's from my candle box. It was Serendipity, and this was the Itty Witty Soy Drops. And I haven't been having the best luck with these. Some of them have been strong, and some of them haven't. Um, this one, I put in the entire thing into my Scentsy Warmer, and it was probably like a light to medium throw. But it wasn't, to me, it didn't have like that bang in your face serendipity type of scent to it. Um, it was a lot heavier on like the coconut, and so it wasn't my favorite type of serendipity. From the bathing garden, I did two cubes and apple hearts, which I got from a round robin. This was a really, really pretty apple scent. It had like this really nice green note to it as well. I'm not sure what the hearts piece of it is, but, um, it was a really good apple scent, so I would definitely repurchase that if I saw it listed. From Granny's, I melted Frog Freckles, and I also got this one out of a round robin. This was just a really, really nice fruity scent. It did have a little bit of something else in it, maybe like a clean type of note, but uh, it was wonderful. Really great scent. From Shay's scent, I finished a six-pack of Sunny Tarts and Pink Marshmallows. Shay's has amazing pink sugar. I really like her pink sugar a lot. I've never actually ordered from her, but I've had several of her stuff that I've gotten in round robins and swaps and things, but this one was great. I really loved that one. Okay, from Yankee, I did a votive in Mango Peach Salsa. This is one of my favorite scents from Yankee, but it wasn't super strong. I can get it as dupes from other vendors, so, you know, not really something I need to buy from Yankee. I also melted Island Spa. And I've had the dupe from Candles by Victoria of this scent, but hers is a little bit more fruity. This is a little bit more clean smelling. So I prefer the Candles by Victoria Island Spa to this, um, for sure. Okay, from Victoria's Designer Creations, I did Better Than Sex Cake. And this one was awesome. It had some chocolate in it and a little bit of maybe like a butterscotch type of scent. But it was just an amazing, amazing bakery scent. So I melted this one in my 18 watts and did very well. And then I also did a lot of colada cake. This one was just kind of okay. I did it in my 24 watt warmer and it didn't have much of a bakery note. It had a lot of like that colada scent to it. But it didn't have much of the cake. It was more of just like a pina colada scent, so it was just kind of okay. From Tindigit, I did Serendipity, and I did this one the same day that I did the um, my Candlebox Serendipity. I definitely preferred this scent over the My Candlebox one. It's a little bit heavier on the cherry, but it's like a really sweet cherry, so that's what I really liked about Tindigit's Serendipity. It was nice. And then I did Ginger Ale. And I did the Serendipity in a 24-watt warmer. When I melted this one, I did it in a 18-watt warmer. 
And I think they work a lot better in a 24 watt warmer than the 18 watt because I didn't get a whole lot out of this one. It smells really, really good on cold throw though. I mean, it's like a fizzy type of scent, but this is like, I don't know, it's like it, it smells not as sweet, I guess, as those do sometimes. But it's still got something in it that, um, maybe it's like a spice type of scent, maybe that's what it is. But this was really nice. Um, I just wish it would have been stronger, but again, I think it was the warmer I used it in. Tooth Fairy from Candles in the Keeping Room. I took this one out of Round Robin. It was just kind of like a sweet type of scent. I'm not sure exactly what was in it, but... And I mean, it was kind of old, so... It wasn't super duper strong, but it was just kind of a sweet type of scent. Pink Sugared Apple from Candles in the Keeping Room. This one was awesome. It's a perfect blend of pink sugar and apple. Really, really loved this one. I did this one the same day as the Apple Hearts. And it was just like an apple fiesta up in my place. It was amazing. Lemon Clean. Okay, so this one, I mean, it smells like lemon cleaner. And I melted it because I really needed to, like, get this stinky, dirty, nasty trash out of my apartment. <laughs> and I needed something to, like, you know, get rid of that nasty smell. And this definitely did the trick. I mean, it completely cleared it out, and it smelled like lemon cleaner. So I had been cleaning with some pine salt. So this is really good for that kind of purpose of, like, deodorizing. Um, but yeah. And then Fruit Cocktail from Candles in the Keeping Room. This one was a really nice, like, fruit punch type of scent. Really enjoyed it. I melt my Candles in the Keeping Room in both a 24-watt and an 18-watt warmer, and they both work great for it. So... I do the 18 watt if I want it to last a little bit longer, the 24 watt if I want it to be just a little bit stronger, so, yeah. Okay, from Lasting Scent Candles, I did Lemonilla. Lasting Scent has one of the best lemon scents out there. Absolutely loved that one. It was perfection. I always do these in my 24 watt warmer, and they're always awesome. And then Flowering Dogwood, I'm actually doing this one today. It's a really nice sweet floral. It does have a little bit of a perfume note to it, but it's still really sweet and it's not really heady and heavy like um, Rose or Gardenia or Lily or something like that would be. It's a really nice one. Okay, from Front Porch, Cherry Cola. I've had this one for a while. It smells like Cherry Coke. I mean, there's not really much else to say. It's got like that little bit of a fizzy note. It's got that Coca-Cola scent and then it's got cherry. So yeah. <laughs> um, I did Mountain Dew Pop, and this one I wasn't really a huge fan of. I thought I would like it on cold throw, but warmed up, it just, it's just kind of like a fizzy type of scent, and I'm not really into those. On cold throw, it smells a lot sweeter than it actually is when it's warmed up, so that was kind of a bummer. And then I finished a four-pack in Glazed Jelly Donuts, and this is another one that I'm not really a huge, huge fan of. I don't know if it's got, I think it's blackberry from Front Porch that I really do not like, and I think this might have blackberry in it. And then it's got like a bakery donut type of scent in there too, but yeah, it, the berry note that's in it I'm not really a fan of. Okay, and then I finished a lot of clamshells this week. So from the kissing booth, I finished Sweet Dreams. This is a pink peppermint. And it's slightly heavier on the peppermint than the pink sugar. It reminds me, though, a lot of um, Tiffany Candle's Pink Peppermint, whatever hers is called. So, yeah. It's just not as strong as hers is. Sweet on You. This, I think, is my favorite scent from the Kissing Booth. It's like a blue sugar and something and awesome. As super duper strong. I really love this one. So, yeah, that one I would definitely repurchase um, again and again. Huckleberry Milkshake. This is the second one of these that I've finished. I think I got this one out of a round robin. Um, this one, though, wasn't as strong as the one that I had earlier. Because I had to get four cubes in, like, a Scentsy-type warmer to really get a good throw. So, yeah, so that one was kind of a bummer. And then, finally, I finished After Church, The Little Ones. This one's like a graham cracker on the base with, like, a fruit punch type of scent on top. 
So yeah, um, more of the graham cracker comes out than the fruit punch when it's warmed up. So it's not really a favorite, and it's not very strong. So yeah, um, Paula Deen, I finished Slowberry Cobbler, and I think I'm done buying Paula Deen's wax. Like I think I said that before, but then I picked this one up. I don't know why. I just don't like the consistency of it. It's very sticky. And so it's just kind of a mess to get out of the clamshell and then out of the warmer. But this is a really nice, like, blueberry, blackberry type of cobbler scent. So, I mean, it's a really good scent. It's just, I don't want to deal with that sticky wax. From Sensationals, I did Sweet Pea. It's a typical Sweet Pea scent. Um, if you ever smelled, like, Sweet Pea from Back in the Body Works, that's what it smells like. So it's just a super, super sweet floral but it's not like a really up in your face strong floral so this is another one kind of like flowering dogwood that even if you don't like florals this would still be really nice and pretty and probably wouldn't give you a headache from febreze i finished the last of these cranberry pear which is probably my favorite scent from there absolutely love it it's it's got that amazing pear and there's a little bit of tart cranberry. And cranberry, I kind of go back and forth on whether or not I like it, but this one's really good. And this is super strong. And then the other one is white peach, which these two from Febreze were the only two that I really got a scent throw from. This one smells a lot like ginger peach from Sensational, so I think that's the one I'm going to go with from now on because it's stronger. And, well, it's less expensive, too. Because these things are kind of expensive to have no throw. But those two were good. <laughs> And then finally, I finished two Scentsy Bars, one in Plum Delicious. This one I got out of a round robin. And the scent's been discontinued. I don't know how long it's been discontinued, but it's been a while. I think it's coming back in July for Bring Back My Bar. It's kind of like a perfumey plum type of scent, so... Yeah, it's just like a really deep, almost a berry type of scent, so... And then the other one I finished was Blackberry Bushel, which this was a bring back my bar from who knows how long ago. And this one was just kind of okay to me. I mean, I don't think you can get this one anymore unless it comes back and bring back my bar, but... Yeah, I mean, it was just kind of okay. It was like a blackberry type of scent. So yeah, so that was my mid-June wax empties. As always, if you have any questions, let me up, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!